last week you looked like you knew that there was something bigger there and it didn't come out today it came out in the last jump are you happy i'm happy i am always gonna find some happiness in a pb you know a pb you can't get mad at it it's the first I've ever jumped indoors that's a good thing and i brought out in the last round which makes me feel good about my sort of competitive edge at the moment i feel like i've got that there but similarly it wasn't quite enough to take the lead so there's always going to be an element of disappointment. You know, I want to win. I'm here to win always. Um, but that said, I'm happy with that. And I'm happy that I've shown the selectors that I'm in shape for Belgrade, hopefully. Do you think that uh, there was a doubt about you being in shape? Because it wasn't from our perspective. Do you, do, you, do you think there was a doubt? There was no doubt from me. But I, I can see why people might have looked and gone, oh, you were jumping 60 consistently all last season. And you've opened up with 654. What's wrong? But I never let that get into my own head because I know full well that training's been going well. I've been working really well with Kelly and so I know that it's in there and even that final round jump didn't feel quite right you know I didn't get out of the pit going yes because sometimes you know and it was kind of not sure that was all right it was better than the others but I still feel like we've got some tweaking to do because there's, there's more in there that must make you feel quite excited if you get to Belgrade when you get to Belgrade what happens well you know me I'm always looking for medals I'm, I'm never going to go to a championship and not be looking for medals so that's why I'm aiming to be on the podium